I'm enjoying the playful spirit that's infusing Giorgio Armani's collections as he cruises through his eighth decade. I think you can see the global nature of his business reflected on his catwalk, and there aren't many designers doing that at the moment. He is uh, a designer who knows his market, which is basically red carpet and very wealthy women. He doesn't bother with fashion, it's much more style. Mr. Armani loves to put unusual shapes on the runway and things that look very forward. I think it's interesting as we're seeing fashion continue to play with some volume. We're really hearing that the customer wants clothes that move close to the body. She's looking for a sexy moment right now. Are you ever surprised by what you see on an Armani runway? The general feeling of elegance and the Armani woman always stays with you, but I think that he does do some exploration in there, definitely. I thought the, the proportion of this new fuller skirt from him, I mean, he's king of pants, so whenever there's a wearable new skirt, I love that. Do you feel a sort of multicultural diversity in this shirt? Absolutely. I think that there's always a blend of influences, and he obviously loves India, and there was a bit of Turkey, and I think that you always see a lot of globalism in his clothes. Quite a lot of shagginess in that shirt. So the evening wear at the end, I mean, I'm not quite sure what was hanging off the gowns, but it was certainly intriguing. And certainly the runway is the laboratory for new ideas, and Mr. Armani certainly uses the laboratory for that reason. I thought the jackets that were velvet over the floral skirts were very pretty. You know, the juxtaposition of boy meets girl is all over in fashion right now. This is at the end a little bit of almost like favela chic, I thought. Yeah, very sort of over ornate. And there was a bit of Harry and the Henderson chic there going on. But you know, you gotta commend Armani. Unlike everybody else, he doesn't just do black for winter. He also has some blue and some violets and some floral patterns and all the rest of it. You know, those dresses at the end, I, I was intrigued by them because they, they almost looked like they could be made out of something recycled. It looked like printed fringe mylar. There was a very futurist attitude of taking something that almost looked as if it was a floral photograph and then fringing it up. It could have been plastic. It could have been street finds. I don't know. I said it looked like recycled plastic. Armani, the house of green. Who knew? Who knew?